All right, so hello and welcome to stream time. Last time we got started on Final Fantasy XII and we took uh, took down a couple of marks and I got familiar with the Zodiac uh, job board and all the intricacies that come with that. And today I think I'm just about ready to head into the palace. I think there might be one or two things I want to take care of, but for the most part, it is all done. And yeah, I'm just going to go from there. I'm not going to go as long as I did last time because I'm pretty much done with all the intro stuff. And also, I kind of need to take care of a couple things before I ultimately go to bed for work in the morning. So might be around two, two and a half hours today. I don't know. But yeah, let's go on ahead and uh, get our uh, gameplay on. Alright, here we are. We managed to uh, end here at the South, South Bank Village, and there might be some extracurricular stuff I can take care of, like uh, heading back to that uh, midpoint outpost to get the thing that she's asking for. So, I think I'm going to go on ahead and take care of that first. Uh, let me check my characters. Uh, Alright. I need to check their equipment with equip, not uh, status. Alright. Alright, they're doing pretty good. Let's, uh... I'm going to check out what they... The, what's in the shop here. That's my chocobo over there. He has funness for shining things shiny things. Buries everything you can get its beak on. Most recent victim? All the gill I made in Rabinaster. Down on my luck, you might say. Buy something to help me out. What do you say? What do you got? Uh... Ooh! I don't have Blizzard yet. And for all I know, uh, I may make one of the characters I get later on a uh, Black Mage. So that's gonna be good. Alright. Uh, and I've got some more sh stuff to sell. So let's go on ahead and sell it. And see if we get anything good from it. And a bundle of thousand needles. Frustrated merchants and impatient buyers arguing over the precise count of, of needles in a given bundle is a common market site. Alright, I didn't get anything new. Alright, we're going to be able to figure out how to get the ferry going later. Uh, we'll definitely be back here at a later point. So, how about we go on ahead and uh, make our way back to the uh, midpoint outpost. Alright. Seems like these guys are still a little too powerful for us, so I'm just gonna skip by all of them. You know, I'm kind of liking the reorchestrated soundtrack that they made for the Zodiac Age. I mean, there might be one or two songs that I'm not really digging since I prefer the original sound, but for the most part so far, I kind of enjoy it. Alright, gotta go this way. Also, I need to check something on my end. Uh... Just to make sure chat is responding on my end, on my dashboard. Test. Message. And it looks like, uh, it's responding on OBS, but, hmm. Well, it looks like I'm going to be relying on OBS, uh, for my chat. So, yeah. Okay. That. That's cool, I guess. Twitch was having a few issues, uh, has been having a few issues lately. Nothing major, it's just interesting. Alright. Oh yeah, now that we've been to that, uh, village by the river, we can actually warp there. Since they have a warp point. I hope I'm going the right way. Music change means yes, okay. 
Running errands for my wife, eh? Neberlim? There should be some over by the crates. Help yourself. Okay. You've obtained a file of Neberlim. Neberlim. Also, the, uh... Item box respawned. So, we got seven gil! Yay, that was totally useful. Also, there's a gill in the sand. Alright, let's head back. It's kind of odd that chat isn't showing up on my dashboard, but it's showing up on OBS. I guess Streamlabs is working as intended, at the very least. There we go. I seem to be going the right way? Yeah. No, now I am. I got mixed up. Ooh, Pinello is almost dead. Once I get into the next area, I need to make sure she heals herself. There it is. Oh, she's gone. Um. Oh, I'm back here. Uh, is there a save point in here, pray tell? Uh, no, there isn't. All right. Looks like I'm going to be... I'll go on ahead and get her back when I get back to the save point over at the village. Oh, wow. They were waiting for me. Wow, I can't believe I went in circles. Ow. All right. Here's the right way. Ow. Back over here. I want to make sure I live. There we go. Now let's go. There's our destination up at the top of the screen. I get hit just as I go through the entrance. There we go. Uh, it's over here. Hurry! Into the safety of the non-combat area. Okay. Alright, first stop. Save point to restore everybody. And yeah, Pinello is now back. All right, let's go on ahead and give this file over. Yeah, the Neperlim. Wonderful. A little, a little this spread over the wound should snatch the, should stanch the bleeding. Now to do something about the poison. Some Veil Blossom dew would quickly neutralize it. I hate to ask you for your help yet again, but do you think you could gather some for me? Blooming along the cliffs in the broken sands. The hell is the broken sands? Uh, world map then? Actually, I think I'll worry about it later. I'm going to go on ahead and just start making my way back into Dalmasca. Or Rabinaster, sorry. Alright. Oh, this one's yellow, so... Okay, yeah. You know, I probably could have taken these guys out uh, easily before. Hey, a phoenix down. Alright, let's speed things up then. Alright, how powerful are you? Not very powerful at all. Yeah, you're a weakling. I guess they're high level, but they have health like they were at level, level 2 or 3. Let's go on ahead and, uh, ooh, small feather. Nice. Oh, and an item box. Let's see what's inside. Ooh, echo herbs. I haven't used any yet, but I guess they're going to be nice to have later on. 
Especially if Penelope gets uh, silenced. Yeah, they're only giving out 5 EXP, so I guess their high level uh, means jack crap right now. Yeah. Right. I'm gonna go on ahead and heal up and then I'm gonna continue. I accidentally healed her. There we go. Now let's go. I wonder if they, since they're giving out uh, fire stones, they might be weak to ice. I would definitely think that's something. get anything rare from these guys. Nope, just a windstone. Oh well. There we go, got a nice little guide up. Yeah, let's head back to Rabinaster. I need to head into the underground. I'm also going to check back with the guild just to see if I got any new rewards from all the stuff I've been doing. No, that, nah, you know what, that's a bad idea. I was actually thinking about taking out the T-Rex. But that's not necessarily a great idea. Unless I save beforehand and then see how badly I'm going to get my ass kicked. You know what? That's a good idea. I'm going to go on ahead and save first. That way I don't lose jack crap. Alright. I'm not even going to use any Phoenix Downs because I know I'm going to lose. Let's see how fast I can get my ass kicked. After taking these guys out. There we go. Alright, where is that dinosaur bastard? There he is. Wow, nice three hits. Oh. I... Yeah, he just came, became more powerful. He's lost some health! He's vulnerable! Let's go on ahead and take him out! Actually, let me see if he's got anything good on him. Nope. Okay. 926 from a standard attack. <gasps> this is a horrible idea. Hey, at least we get to hear the game over jingle. All right, that w I just wanted to see what would happen. Isn't it a good thing that I saved? All right. All right, back to doing non-stupid stuff. I need to head into Low Town. And I think I need to be near Dallin's house before she'll leave my party. So let's bring up my map. Uh, yeah, the entrance by Giza Plains is going to be the fastest way. Oh, nope, nope. Uh, there it is. 
All right, let's go on ahead and kick Pinello out of our party. Wait. I wanted to check on her job points. Oh, wait, I still can. Uh, all right. Let me go on ahead and give her some stuff before I go on ahead and uh, kick her out. Battle lore. That might actually be useful. Uh, I'd rather give her some extra magic and then uh, another accessory tier. Ooh, that's actually pretty useful for a caster. Uh, yeah, I'll give her Mystic Armor 3. Next time I see her, there might be some uh, better armor for her, so yeah. And let me see what she's got equipped. Uh, okay. She doesn't have anything that would be detrimental if I let her go. Alright, let me go on ahead and change up bonds since I'm here. Daggers 2. Martyr's not necessarily useful on him at the moment, so I'm probably going to skip it for now. However, Libra is going to be very useful. Also, accessories, too. And I think that's gonna do it. Okay. All right. Get this thing. Pinch of Echo Arbs. There we go. Hey, Vaughn. Hmm? It's been a long time since we did anything together. Too long. I had a really good time. Well, I should probably be getting back to the store. Actually, I was kind of supposed to be watching the place for Miguelo. And Vaughn? Try to stay out of trouble. For me? I don't know what I'd do if you weren't here. If something happened to you. I'm not going anywhere, okay? That's what I wanted to hear. See you later. It's not what it's what she wanted to hear. It's not necessarily what he's gonna be doing. Sorry, Pinello. Sorry, Pinello, we can't keep that promise. Hello, great time. How are you? Forgive me if I don't respond to you right away. For some reason, chat's not showing up on my dashboard yet. It's showing up on OBS, and I kind of have to look a little bit further to get to OBS. Let me see if I can fix that real quick, actually. Uh, put OBS right here, and I'll move the dashboard eh, right here. That way I have a little easier time reading chat. Okay. There we go. Alright, here's your sunstone. Oh ho, so you've got a sunstone, have you? Hand it over, my boy, and I'll use it to give you the crescent stone. I'll give use it to give the crescent stone back its magic like I promised. Now you'll be wanting to know how to sneak into the palace, eh? First you go to Storehouse 5. Thank you for the you follow, great the time. One. Two doors she has. Now the right takes Ban Ratsbane to his territorial hunting grounds in the sewer bottom, but that's not the way you'll go. No, you'll take the left door down into the Garam Sight waterway. The waterway. This is the PC version. Stair, it's uh, the Zodiac Age. The I've beaten the cellars. PS2 version, though. That's your way in. Thank you. But don't go counting your gill just yet, my boy. Getting into the palace was the easy part. This is going to be my first time the playing through the Zodiac Age, by the way. Carefully hidden. That's where this crescent stone comes in. The magics it bears can open the hidden door to the treasury, you see. Listen, Vaughn, for the words I shall speak are most important and not to be forgotten. Do you understand? No, nope, but go the on ahead. Signet yearns for sunstone strength to light the clouded way. And I've already forgotten. Once in the palace, you'll find the signet tile. Very important. Give to it the sun's power, and it will light your path. Very well. Oh, a warning. 
Be aware that if you're caught, you'll spend the rest of your short life rotting in the Nalbina dungeon. So, look sharp, my boy. Oh boy, you managed to. Off before you're ready. Plans freshly hatched have a habit of tumbling from the nest straight into the hunter's stew pot. <laughs> you managed to forget to tell me about that before I went to get the sunstone. But yeah, uh, this is going to be my first time playing the Zodiac Age, which means it's also my first time dealing with the uh, Zodiac job board. And I stuck uh, Vaughn inside the Shikari job, and I stuck Pinello in the White Mage job because she had the proper equipment for a caster. So it felt I felt it appropriate to give her a casting role, even though she can still use daggers and is good in combat. And my... I keep forgetting to put this on vibrate. Squads 3 through 6 are in place. They stand ready. So far, the Imperials haven't noticed a thing. Then go now and hurry the others. By nightfall, we must ensure all our men are in place. Sir. Yes, sir. Alright, that should take care of that. Oh, who's that, I wonder? Alright, so I think I'm set to go into the sewers. Might be a couple more things I want to... Oh, right. I want to check with the guild real quick. Or the clan. Just to see if they have anything for me since I've been doing stuff since I joined. I think I may have enough points to get like a nice pack of potions or something. I think I know where to go now, so let's go. And I don't think the weapon shop has anything new for me to buy, so I'm just going to skip it entirely. And I'm also going to check out the bazaar. Trader. I think this might be the clamp. Yep. Heard the boss gave you the okay, but it's not that simple, lad. We've got strict rules you gotta abide by here. Things I can sell you depend on your clan rank. You wanna crack at the good stuff? Best raise your rank. I doubt you'll be disappointed. Yeah, that's a nice thing that I kinda like about the uh, Zodiac Age. Ooh. Oh, okay. I don't think uh, the game's had these in the uh, clan provisioner uh, at this point. Let me go on ahead and sell my loot. Oh, I had one more. There we go. Ooh. Tale of the Phoenix. Okay. Cause one ally to be the target of all foes. Hmm. Increased fire damage dealt to all foes in range. I think I'll get decoy. You know, just for completionist's sake. And yeah, that's it. All this, also, this little uh, mini-map is pretty nice to bring up. So I don't have to rely on the one on the top right to find places. Because while I've beaten the original Final Fantasy XII, it's been almost seven or eight years at this point. How fares the hunt, Koopo? All your membership papers are in order, Koopo. Allowing me, allow me to give this to you to commemorate your joining the guild. I'll have a little something for you each time you attain a new clan rank, Koopo. Hey, three potions. You're a hedge knight already. You've been burning the midnight oil, Koopo. All right, two warp stones and eh, warp moats and teleport stones. Cool. All right, and no special hunts, meaning I'm completely done here. Let's see if there's any new hunts at the Sand Sea that might that I might be able to take care of on my own. Alright, 
to the sand sea. Not to get drunk, but to get some new hunts, I guess. No new bills. Okay. I think the game's just telling me to head into the sewers now. The Garum Scythe Sewers. And Lowtown's this way. In fact, this uh, Lowtown entrance might actually put me near the uh, sewers in general. Alright, not that way. Nope, oh, entrance is over here. Private residence. Door is tightly shut. Alright, I don't think I can do that quest yet. Ooh, there is a thing here. A tuft of phoenix down. And here's where I need to go. I was right, I got close by the entrance to the waterway. Alright, where is Kites? In here? Yep. Hey Vaughn, I finally worked out how to get the door on the left side open. I hope there's something in there besides rats. I want to go want you to go in first, so I waited for you to come before opening it. Well that's one of the reasons I waited. Thing is, I'm gonna need some special tools to open the door. Gonna need you to go fetch them for me. I know, I know, not the most exciting thing to do, is it? Hehe. <laughs> Just messing with you, I've got everything I need ready to go. Hang on while I open it. You duped me! You're supposed to be one of my best friends! Don't strain yourself, kites. It's open. Now we've got a whole other place to explore. Oh, and I almost forgot. Take these with you before you go. No telling what's down there. Might come in handy. Hey! More free stuff! I like free stuff. Alright. I think I'm ready to go, so... Let's head into the waterway. Welcome to the Garum Scythe Waterway. The left entrance. The entrance that takes me to some better stuff than rats. Alright. Is there a chest over... No, there might be a chest over this way, from what I remember. Yeah, it looks like it. I think this might be... Yep, there's a dead end and a thing right there. Yeah, these guys are weak. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, they're weak. Hey, 40 gil. I would have preferred a high potion, but whatever. Can't always get what I want. Actually, what have, what have I got equipped right now? Oh, shoot. Forgot to equip that. Now I've got more health. Ooh, nice little flute flourish. I'm probably going to be saving a lot. Just because I tend to save a lot in RPGs if I have ready access to a save point. Aw, oh, come on, Van. I know you're better than that. One more try, and then we'll go on ahead and cut this thing's tail off. Alright, fine. Let's kill it. Oh, wow. Too many for me to properly steal from all of them. Hey, I leveled up. More health for me. Oh. Cool. A potion. Let me go on ahead and use it. Alright. 
Anything special down these? Yes! Another potion! God, I've got so many potions. I guess this way. Getting a pretty good chain on these rats, that's for sure. Want to see how high I can get my chain. Nice. Oh, get back here. There we go. An antidote. Why would I need an... Oh, wait. That's a stupid question to ask. There's plenty of things that can poison me inside of sewer. Alright. Just cover all my bases. I'm gonna see if I missed any, any treasure chests over here. Hey, another antidote. Uh, no. Okay. I should be set to head on forward. Push on forward. God, this is such a useful feature. I'm glad Square had the foresight to actually put this in, because sometimes the uh, trek can be pretty boring. Ah, here's the one I was thinking of. Hey, even more gill. One more steel. There we go. All that for a rat pelt. Alright, looks like I can, I can continue. A potion! Another potion. Oh, neutral enemy. I don't think I remember this one. Oh, wait, now I do. I think they're weak to lightning, and since I don't have a job that has access to magic, that means it's going to be a little harder. Let me go on ahead and, uh, do this. Oh, wow, it's not light. Okay. I guess I have to get aggressive with it before I can use Libra on it. Oh, I use it on myself. Wow, why didn't I think of that before? Yeah. Oh, I use it on myself, and I, uh, get detailed info on my enemy. Okay. I don't know why I was thinking it was, uh, use it on a single enemy, and then you're screwed if you kill it. At least I got a fish scale from that first one. God, I can't wait until I can use, uh, my gambits a little bit more. Gonna make uh, using potions a lot easier. All right, there we go. Let me see what it's got to steal. Couldn't steal. Oh, I stole from, uh, that thing. Alright, let's kill the stealing.
There we go. Conceal. I'm going to be getting that a lot, aren't I? There we go. Eye drops. What I come all the way here for? A remedy. Ooh, I think that, I think that kills cures just about any, every single uh, status ailment. Remove blind, poison, silence, and slow from one ally. And I, from what I remember, you can actually uh, get licenses that improve what remedy does. So eventually, it'll become a true remedy, and you'll be able to cure just about every single status ailment. 68 kill! Cool. And that's where we're supposed to go. Uh, there's... I think there might be a unique enemy in here that I can actually take out. Heal up. But it's a rare chance of it a Hearing, so let me check. At the very least, I'm going to keep searching for it until I reach level 6. After that, I think I'll just go on ahead and continue. Now, if I were playing this by myself, I would definitely keep looking for hours for that specific enemy. I wonder if that's it over there. Nope. Just a standard one. Hey, another fish scale. Alright, how far am I to the next level? Alright, 56. A little bit more searching and then... Yeah. Too much longer until I reach level six. There we go. One kill away. All right. Now, what would be beneficial at the moment? Definitely not that. Ooh, if I could get down here and get some battle ores, that would actually be pretty nice. Oh, wow, there's a bunch of them. Ah, here we go. Remedy Lore. That's what I was thinking of. Remedies remove sleep, sap, immobilize, and disable. So, yeah, they become a hell of a lot better. Oh, wow. They become a hell of a lot better. Consume HP to reduce the HP of one foe to zero. Wow. Gain MP after defeating a foe. I haven't really seen the full license board for this class yet, so I'm just curious. Yeah, this actually looks like a pretty neat uh, job board. Okay. Uh, let's go on ahead and work my way down to the battle lores here. I definitely want HP. Oh wow, all of the HP increasers are just bunched up right here. All 
Alright. I should probably use an item. Alright, let's get going. Alright. Up the stairs. Into the palace. The palace should be right up these stairs. It won't be easy getting out. Am I ready for this? It's now or never. If only to get the story going. Or to keep the story going, rather. So basically, at this point, I can't go back. So you better make sure you're completely ready. And apparently it takes them all day to get down there. Because it's nighttime now. Ah, the leading man and his partner in crime. Hmm. I'm gonna keep him as a gunslinger. The Royal Palace of Rabinaster. Alright, we are officially in the palace, and this urn always contains a map. Yeah, I think every urn that looks like that will contain a map. So, let's go on ahead and take a look at our, uh, actually, I think I can do this. There we go. Yep, that's pretty much all there is. And now that we're here... Ooh. I'm gonna go on ahead and make a separate save file because it gave me that little message. What does it say exactly? You will not be able to leave this area easily. You may wish to save your game to a new file. And yeah, I'm going to do that. Hmm, how many save files do I have? 199? Okay. Uh, I'm gonna use three, just so I don't, just to make sure I don't, uh, override it. All right. We, okay, let's go. And I like how the music just slowly gets louder and louder the closer you get to the main area. Looks like we're here with the palace servants. An antidote. An elixir. I believe that's another one of the item boxes that you weren't supposed to open if you wanted to get the Zodiac Spear in the original release. Luckily, that requirement's uh, been kind of removed from Zodiac Age. So, that's a good thing. Have you gathered up all the occasionals? Good. You'll be, uh, you'll be on cleanup duty when the fate's over. Wait here until we're ready for you. No one goes to the upper floor until we give the order. Step out of line and you will be punished. Bastards. Alright, another potion. Ooh, an ether. It's gonna be useful later. Yoink! Another remedy. Let's see if there's anything else I can steal. Uh, I think I've cleaned up already. Hope that fate gets done with quick. There's something I want to see on the upper floor. Oh, there's a lot of stuff I want to see on the upper floor. Let me go on ahead and see if I can sweet talk with the guard. Hey, good looking. Can I get up there? Wait here until I have further directions for you. Oh, okay. What's he doing? Trying to go upstairs? Trying to go upstairs, ain't you? I know. I know. You're hungry. I don't blame you. An empty stomach bl make me want to crash the fate, too. No, no, no. No use trying to hide it. Look here. I'll help you out. Okay, so press square to call the guard. I'll handle him when he comes and you make for the stairs. Well, last time I looked, there's no square button on the Switch controller. So, I think the Closest I've got is the Y button, so let me go on ahead and, uh, hit, uh, Y. Hello. Alright, and up we go. Woo. 
I made it. And the music's even louder. Hooray. And I think I'm going to go on ahead and slow it down to normal speed just to make sure I don't screw up any of this little solid snake sneaking mission stuff. What was it Old Delon? I, old Dallin said, The signet yearns for sunstone strength to light the clouded way. But there was more. Oh yeah, once in the palace you'll find the signet tile. Give it to it the sun's power and it will light your path. Looks like I've got a signet to find. Alright, yeah, I'm still super speed. And luckily, uh, I have an ability, I have the ability to move these guys. So let me see if I remember how to do this. Trying to get over there. Uh... Hello? Alright, I think that's the first good step I'm supposed to do. I think I screwed up. Alright, let me go on ahead and reset these guys. Hi! Alright, I'm not supposed to move those guys yet. Alright, looks like a representation of a hawk. This is not it. Do nothing. Hey, Buckethead! There we go. Ooh, right. Hello. There we go. Hey, Buckethead! And the guard is not calling me over. That's good. Don't mind me. I'm just sneaking around the palace. Oh, there's a singular guard here. Alright. Back to normal speed. Line signet? Use it. I think this one might be it. Yep, there we go. It's a good thing I checked this one before I continued further. Or else I might have screwed myself over a little bit. Light of the sun flows into the signet. The hidden way is lit. Now I just need to call this guard over. Over here! There we go. I should be able... It's not that one, or is it this one? Alright, nothing out of the ordinary in this one. It's gotta be this one. Yep, there it is. A faint light shines from beyond the wall. Approach the wall. Tear down the wall! Haha! Made it! Well, that takes care of the secret passage. Now, where's this treasure? And it locked behind me, so... No ch choice but to keep moving forward, then. Examine the wall. There's more of this wall than meets the eye, but what is it? Oh, there's a switch! Press the switch! Oh, hey, that worked. For more visual gags like this, feel free to follow me on twitch.tv. Hmm. 
Vaughn, you're supposed to be looking for treasure. Okay, good, he was. Huh? Hello? That lady's face opened up. Ooh. A nice pretty stone. Oh, quite a performance. Who are you? I play the leading man. Who else? Fran, the magicite. Now then, I'll take that. No, you won't. I found it. It's mine. And then when I take it from you, it'll be mine. Oh, snap! Didn't think that one through, did you, Vaughn? Exit stage right. The gods do not smile on us. I like it better that way. You obtain the goddess's magicite. Ooh. Best not go that way. How about upstairs? That's a much better direction. Alright. I don't think there's anything here, so... Yeah, the better idea would be to go up this way. Alright, nothing over here. Ooh, even further up. And now a CG cutscene. Eh? That's quite an entrance. Impeccable timing. If I didn't know better, I'd say they were waiting all along. Stop running! End of the line. You have something that belongs to me. Damn! All this way! Fran, let's move! <sighs> Off with you! You know, if you're hanging uh, for your life up above that high, it may not be a good idea to say that. What's going on, Fran? I don't know. It's not heating me. Uh, don't have time for this. Uh, not slipping. Not good. Uh, and they all died. The end. <laughs> Thank you for watching my stream. That's the. That's all for Final Fantasy XII. Next. Okay, never mind. What happened? A hover didn't just drop. It disappeared. Ah, oh, forget it. Even if we could fly, the Ifrit's playing with fire, and I'd rather not get burned. We'll go the old-fashioned way. Not many Viera where you come from, thief. It's Vaughn. Sorry. Well... Fran is special in that she deigned to partner with a Hume. Oh? Like a sky pirate that chooses to steal through the sewers. Pirates? You're sky pirates? So you have an airship? It's Balthier. Listen, thief, Vaughn, if you ever want to see your home again, you'll do exactly as I say. Myself, Fran, and you, we're working together now. Understood? Don't even think you're getting this. 
The thought never crossed my mind. Yay, we get two of the best characters in the, in the entire game. <laughs> yep, Vaughn, a.k.a. Not Titus. All right. So, I'm going to go on ahead and keep uh, Balthier with the guns, which means he's going to be a machinist. Alright, so essentials, attack items. He also gets steel as well. Cool. Oh, wow. Huh. He gets access to the uh, harp weapons. Interesting. I think I'll stick with guns, thank you very much. Ah, okay. So, would not be a good idea to go down... Uh, in the equipment grid. Uh, shoot. Gain MP after taking damage. I think I'll do that. Potion lore, definitely. Alright, that's all I want to do on that end. There we go. This is my first time playing the Zodiac Age. I've beaten the original PS2 release before. So, this is basically my first time experiencing the Zodiac job board from the inter international release on PS2. Uh, so... What's down here? More accessories and HP increasers. So, it might be a good idea to work my way down that way. Alright. Now, let's see about Fran. Alright, unarmed pulls, crossbows, axes, hammers. Here we go, archer. Kind of generic, but I don't care. She gets to keep her bows, and I get to have a couple of ranged attackers. Alright, inquisitor and martyr. I'll think about it. I kind of want to do some uh, some uh, discovery on my own first. Let's see. Do I want to keep going down the bow path, which will get me even better weapons? But that's not really important at the moment since I have very basic weapons. All right. Did I get anything else on here? Nope, it's just this one particular path. Yeah, sure, poach. And an HP increase. Awesome. Alright, let's check their equipment. Alright, cool. Alright, saved. And now let's go on ahead and expand our gambit accessibility. Ah, Vaughn, there's something I want to check before we set out. As I thought, you don't know much about gambits yet, do you? Make sure you get someone to be a time battle a time battle mage. Yeah. Ah, time magic. I was actually thinking about that. So, it's probably going to be... Yeah, it's definitely going to be one of the last two characters that I have access to that's going to be a time battle mage then. Alright, one error of judgment and you could well find yourself throwing punches at that same ally. If you've a, head, if you a, if you've a good head on your shoulders, it should come easily enough. Hmm, I fear more de detailed explanations in order. Yay, now we get full gambit accessibility. Reach it from the party menu. To create a gambit, you only need to select the action and a target for that action. Here, let me show you. I'll start by changing the action of one of my gambits. Hmm. 
Now, whenever an ally gets hurt, I'll toss a potion his way. Charming, eh? Of course, that's a sure way to go through our stock of potions, so let's just adjust the target to make sure things don't get out of hand. Any ally with less than 70% HP. That's a much better use of potions. You can set a gambit's action to more or less any ability you have at your disposal. Targets aren't so simple. You'll have to pick up new ones from the gambit shop. So I'm basically buying macros for, mu for combat. But that isn't all. You can also prioritize your gambits. Allow me. Yep, you can basically just uh, put the potion on top or bottom. Although I think the favorite uh, strategy is to put your regular attack on the lowest on the gambit list. You can turn gambits off and on here from the gambit screen as well as from the battle menu. Of course, gambits won't do much good if they're turned off. Still, discretion is often the best part of Valor. If you need a beast at hasty retreat, try turning gambits off first. Well, that's the long and short of it. I'll set my gambits as a word before we start. Feel free to change them later if you like. And I think I will be doing that. Be flexible. If you find yourself up against beasts that don't take well to fire, create a gambit to cast fire on nearby foes. Likewise, we should face a creature that uses poison. Gambit to cast poison on poison allies just might come in handy. Alright. Gambits are ready. Alright. Check out the gambits. any and let's go on ahead and toss a potion actually not any uh there we go all right so first aid's only good on hp critical allies so let's go on ahead and change this to a potion as well Yeah, that's the way I see it as well. It's basically just creating macros to make combat a lot easier. Actually, I want it in that order. There we go. Which means I want this one in order as well. Party leader's target, nearest visible, nearest visible. That seems a little better. Uh... I think I'll have her on a party leader's target. Ally less than 50%, and yeah. There we go. Since I don't want to do that all, all over again, I think I'm going to go on ahead and save. And at this point, I think I am going to go on ahead and take a quick break. Just so I can stretch and not feel like my legs are going to fall asleep every five minutes. So when I get back, we're going to go on ahead and play a little bit more Final Fantasy. So I'll see you guys in a few minutes, and I'm just going to leave the music running. All right. Let us continue. All right. What? Insurgents. Most like they thought to take advantage of a lax watch at the palace while the fate's on. To feed the good consul a length of steel for his supper. I should think Vane used to such hospitality. Clever. He used himself as the bait to draw them near, and then sent in the air brigade. A fine, bloody banquet. Hmm. I dare say I've soiled my cuffs. If a dungeon's waiting for us at the end of the night, it'd best have a change of wardrobe. Health here is pretty awesome. All right. Ooh. We have a new map. A map of the Garum Scythe Waterway. How big is this place anyway? Ooh, wow. And you know what? It's actually, I think it's actually bigger than this. 
All right. Yep, Dire Rats still have the same amount of HP even in this area. God, all I could do is just uh, approach an enemy and everyone else is going to take care of it for me. So basically my character doesn't have to do jack crap if he wants. Yep, that is for sure. God, this section of the uh, the waterway looks similar to the one that Vaughn was in earlier, but I know I'm in an entirely different section. What's over here? Uh, nope. Should be a chest over here somewhere, though. There we go. There we go. I was wondering why it wasn't going down as fast. And anything special over here? That's big fat no. Okay. Ooh, a new enemy. Let's go on ahead and steal from our uh, sewer toad here. Ow. Oh. Two more steals and then I'll just go on ahead and have it get killed off. Hey, I got a horn. Yeah, that's kind of a problem with the waterways, but I get why they kind of made it like that. I guess they were trying to make it some sort of, like, grand sewer area. A light woven shirt. And that's cloth. Okay. Might be good for Canola when we uh, find her again. Oh wow, this thing has a lot of HP. Yep. Oh, and it's weak to fire. Too bad I can't use fire magic. Oh, it gave itself regain. That's not fun. Except it still goes down anyway. Do I go down the path with the big toad, or do I go down the path with the potential item? I think I'll go down this way. Hey, it's an item. Oh, nice. A very nice one to have. Getting ethers early on, so when I have casters uh, later on in the game, they'll be... They'll be able to keep mana up at all, all times, pretty much. Potion, and another item box. Yay, money! Would have preferred an ether, but whatever. Alright, no item there, no item there. There's a save point over here. That's convenient. Alright, which means I'm going to be coming across something important there, and I think I'm going to trigger it now. Who would be next? Close range, She's tough. Jump down. Hurry. She's not alone. Yes, I obtained one now gill. I can buy a whole one fiftieth, one sixtieth of a potion. I wonder if 
these guys have anything. Steal from you. Well, they probably do. It's just not very important that I steal. Oh, wow. Nice, I got rid of them all. You all right? Thank you. Um, I'm Vaughn, and this is Balthier, and hey! What's your name? Amalia. Huh, she looks kind of Amalia. familiar. Nice to meet you. Like we've seen her at the beginning of the game or something there in some cutscenes. I'm sorry. No. Huh? Oh, now isn't that impressive? Don't get any ideas. I said it's mine. I'm afraid the jury's still out on that one. You stole that? Yeah. Have you finished? When the guards don't report in, they'll come looking for us. If they aren't already. You should come with us. Better than being by yourself. Very well. What's wrong with her? You have a lot to learn before we even get started on your thievery. What's that mean? It means you're a dumbass! The situation requires I accept such help as I find. Though it be from thieves. Yeah, I know, right? I shall accompany you until we find my companions. No longer. Let's think of her as a guest, then. Unlike Fran or myself, our guest probably won't be taking orders from anyone anytime soon. And she'll leave when she pleases. So we keep to our affairs and she to hers. I doubt we'll find her wanting in valor, being such an upstanding member of the insurgents. Resistance. Amalia joins us, the party as a guest. Yes, Amalia. That's totally well, her name, right? What are we waiting for? And I think, unlike other party members, guests can only use certain actions and abilities. However, unlike the original PlayStation 2 release, we can actually uh, directly control her. And we can't take a look at her gear. But I think she has the accessory that lets her have uh, Libra up permanently and... She has a sword and a shield, so that's basically all we need to know about her. And she's not going to be able to level up past 8 at this point. I got some new- I got enough license points to see if I want anything new. Oh, that's where the uh, first HP increase is, uh, is at. Oh, okay, now the gambit slots have opened up, meaning I can actually access some more stuff. Alright. Let's get another gambit slot. I don't know what I'm going to be using on these uh, in the immediate future. Ooh, another gambit slot. Oh, wow. Got a lot of gambit slots on her. Uh, Inquisitor, Martyr... However, if I get one of these, I'll actually be able to get some of these, which are going to be useful. Uh, let's get a gambit slot. Alright, I think I'm good now. Uh, where's that save point? Alright, since I don't want to do that fight again... All right, let's go. Our party grows ever bigger. Ooh. It's a nice open space. It almost seems like there could be a giant boss fight here and 
at many uh, points in the game. Or, you know, one right now. You know, I totally forgot I had to do this fight. I honestly thought there was only one boss fight in the Garam Scythe waterway this early on. Yay, if all they've got are potions, then I think I'm just gonna attack them. Alright, she's got cure. Oh, good, she has cure. Oh, nice, three hits. Well, looks like you're going down at a respectable pace. Alright, since they've got mostly potions, I... I don't really care if I got too much from them. Thanks for the follow, SDH Shadow. And it's going... It's running away. Which means we... I think we take care of this guy later on in the game. Except at that point, we'd be taking care of it as a mark, I think. Congratulations! We're just standing in the middle of a room. Alright takes care of that. Let's go on ahead and open up this. A tough to Phoenix down! Hooray! Alright. Alright, came from that way, so I guess go this way. Alright. Oh, wait, I could have just used, uh, Amalia's white, uh, cure magic instead of doing that. Yeah, I think I think that's it. He becomes a, a marked giant flan. And the way you get actually get him to appear is kind of interesting. Ooh. It's a spoopy ghost. Wait. Alright. Let me try something. Potion. Foes. There we go. Ghost. Ooh, I got a silken shirt. That's going to be nice to sell. And I couldn't get it. Oh, well. At least there's three of them here, so I can have more chances to steal from them. Oh, I'm blind. Ooh, a suit of bronze armor. Uh, I've got eye drops, so at least I can get rid of it. Hold on a sec, I missed what you said. Yep, he requires you to have all females in your party for him to show up. Alright. Yeah, like I said, uh, the chat is not showing up on my dashboard, so I have to rely on OBS to see the chat. Oh, hello, it's a ghost! And it's dead. 
Alright, I think I know what I'm gonna have one of my gambits set up as. Alright, gambits. Party any. Eye drops. Alright. Oh, and this is where I'd be going if I if I were able to get back into Low Town, except the stairs are out, so obviously the characters aren't able to jump over that. You know, that would be reasonable. We actually have to go this way now. Item. Ooh, a long sword. Too bad I don't have. Yeah. Take it easy, man. And yeah, I've beaten this game before, and I absolutely loved it. I think this is one of the reasons why I play World of Warcraft today, which may not be something I should be proud of saying, but yeah. It's because, uh, this game has a lot of MMO-like elements to it. Rusted device. Oh yeah, this is how you open and close everything in the, uh, Garam Scythe waterway. Yep, we're definitely gonna be back here later on in the game. How is everyone on an EXP? Ooh. I think I'm gonna get Vaughn up to level 7 before I uh, advance into the next room. Alright, what do you have for me, weird creature? Jeez, that's a lot of hits. Yay, Vaughn is level 7! Alright, now I'm gonna save. Alright. This is where I killed all those rats at the beginning of the game. There's mist in the air. Because something hot is making it, uh, it's making all the water turn into vapor. I wonder if I can steal something from it, or if it's just not gonna have anything to steal. Ah, our first major boss fight. Oh, I got a potion, cool. Do you have anything else for me? Nope. Now it's using something big. And it's gonna hurt everybody! Ow! Oh, wow. Uh. Let's go on and get rid of that. So apparently it's a fire spell that also. poisons? That's weird. Oh, here we go again. How many potions do I have left? 20? Okay, that's good. Can we get to it before? Yep. 
We got to it before it used its ability again. Fire main, go away, please. I'm sure we'll see you again at some point. It goes deeper into the waterway. It's probably going to be a hell of a lot more powerful the next time we see it. Stand where you are. Oh, shoot. Now's not the time. Balthier seems like he knows more than he's leading on about the, the Arcadian Empire. Or he's just very, very smart. They think me some common thief. Better than a common assassin. These people have done nothing. Release them. What are you doing? Don't interrupt me. I'm thinking. Canelo! Sorry. That dinner will have to wait. I told you. That's enough! Ugh. Leave him what alone! The... Hold on to this for me, would you? Just until I bring Vaughn back. On your feet, you, our ear. All right, all right. Pidgey, aren't we? It's Paul Fear, my brother. What does that Philander think he's doing? I was to kill Balthier, not those other painted Imperials. Hey, it's those Banga we saw earlier. What do they have, uh, what are they interested in Balthier about, I wonder? They couldn't be bounty hunters, could they? I brought you some of those flowers you like. Galbana lilies. Remember? You always said how they smelled nice and how pretty they were. Remember? The king. Did you? W were you really a part of it? Even if... Even if you were... Captain Bosch must have tricked you into it. His brother's dead. And now we know why he was so interested in the Gabbana lilies at the beginning of the game. They were Rex's favorite flower. And now Vaughn is awake after getting knocked out by the guard. You're awake. Welcome to prison. I hope you enjoy your stay. Where are we? Prison? Where else? More a dungeon, but it's really all the same. Yeah, we're going to be seeing a lot of dead bodies. Relax, it's just a corpse. <laughs> Jump at every little thing down here and you'll... Oh, you know, it's only out. a corpse. <sighs> it's not even a proper dungeon. They just sealed off the bottom level of the fortress. Take a look around. We're not the first they've thrown down here. Where's Fran? 
She's off trying to find us a way out. Remember what curiosity killed? Just a friendly word of advice. This is all the water we've got. I'd save your strength if I were you. You know, Bothier, I would probably stay a little bit calmer around him at the moment. He's probably got a concussion. Anyway, we're in the Nalbana dungeon. Also, there should be a save point around here. Save your strength as I go twice the speed as I normally do. Eh, hey, singular gill. I got one gill! I can use that to buy one sixtieth of a potion! Ah, fresh blood. If you want to make it out of this place in one piece, you'll do whatever Daguza tells you to. Got that? What the hell is Daguza? You Damascan boy? Once fought at this fortress to save the king of Damascus. It's true. Seems an age ago now down here. Oh, ow, that surly tart. Hmm. Uh, I think all we can do at this point is just uh, see if there's any ch uh, item boxes down here and, uh, hey, a knot of rust. Actually, the knot of rust is going to be kind of useful because it's a non-elemental damage item. I think that might actually be useful coming up here, at least until we get our gear back because we got all our we got all of our gear taken. However, they didn't take all of our... They didn't take any of our gambits or abilities. So yeah, we've still got our cure. We've got our steel, our Libra, our first aid. A lot of good it's going to do us right now, though. Go on and save and see what awaits us in the next room. In we go! Yeah, I'm out of tea. Remember, Vaughn, slow movements. You're probably still... You probably still have a massive headache from that concussion. <sighs> also slow movement so you don't get hit over the head with a falling corpse. Yeah, he's dead. Well, at least he's the corpse now. He was defenseless. Above you. Now they're gonna take him into the ring to kill him. Although, also, this might be a little tough since I'm used to taking on this encounter with magic. And since I don't have access to magic with the class system. Yeah, this is going to be a little fun. Something stinks in here, all right? I've changed my mind. This is no dungeon, it's a sty. I said you're the one that stinks, Hamshanks. Hear me now? <sighs> you're right, Vaughn. I think they might have potions to steal, so I'm gonna see if uh, stealing helps. 
Their names are Dagu. Oh, okay, that's Daguza, and he's got Protect. Galito and Gwitch, so let's go on in and see if I can steal from... Yep, I got a potion. Oh, wow. Um, I don't think I ever did this much damage with uh, Unarmed before, so this is actually good. Yay, and that was my only potion. Let me go on in and use Not a Rust. Yay! Took care of them all. Okay, that actually went a hell of a lot better than I thought it was going to be. I guess they took into consideration that maybe you may not have magic on you when you get into this fight. Huh? Or it was always that easy. I always took care of it with magic. There must, have, there must be a very special situation going on if they've got uh, an entire troop of the Empire with them. Ah. Great. They just don't give up, do they? <sighs> now is looking like a good time for us to leave. Right on cue. Through the oubliette, there's a way out. Only... Only you sense the mist. <sighs> then we need weapons. What did you call me? Say that again. What? He couldn't hear. I merely said that a lot of you are incompetent fools. If you've escaped pirate in your hands, where is he? You'd have done better, Bagamnon. By your own words, it was the Imperial Army who caught this Sky Pirate of yours. We've done your job for you. We don't require the assistance of filthy head hunters. Yep, they're the headhunters. The Empire will restore order here. And for some reason, <laughs> they are after Balthier. Maybe I'll wet my blade on you before I kill Balthier. That's enough, Bagamnon. <clears throat> hmm. Hey, judge. Judge? Hmm. More the like self-proclaimed guardians of law and order in Arcadia. They're the elite guard of House Solidor, which effectively makes them the commanders of the Imperial Army. If you ask me, they're more executioners than judges. Not a friendly lot, at any rate. What are they doing here? The Emperor is willing to overlook race for his more talented servants. Oh, so However, the racist as well! Do not show respect, will receive none in kind. Your Honor! You will travel freely through our lands because the Emperor wills it. Am I correct? <sighs> Where is the captain? We have him in solitary, Your Honor. We're ready to begin our interrogation. <laughs> this does not concern you, Bounty Hunter. Uh, he's in here somewhere. Find him. Wedgie, that way. He's uh, going this uh, way. Uh, what's that? Spoiler time for the hare to follow the fox. Uh, huh? The magic's binding the door to the Obliet are quite strong. Too strong even for my talents. That's why we'll get them to open it for us. How is going deeper into this What's place? What's wrong? You don't trust her. Fiera's nose is a sharp. If she says there's a way out, there's a way out. Yeah, that's the thing about Fiera. They can actually sniff out stuff, magic-y stuff like that. All right, and we get our gear back because it's right over here. Look. Ah, the prison repository of rested relics and raiments. So, our things are in here? 
That's what I said. He just said it differently than you're used to. And they change into the exact same stuff that they were wearing right at the moment. And we got a map. So we got all our gear back plus a map. Also, uh, this would be where another item box is that we couldn't open up. Wow, 428 gil. All right. So I got a tourmaline ring, immune to poison and sap. Goddess's Magicite increases our resistance, but reduces our MP to zero. I think I'm going ahead and give him an armlet. And... I wonder which accessory class I need for the tourmaline ring. Accessories five, okay. Licenses. Do I have access to that immediately? I do not. There it is. I'm gonna go on ahead and just try to get up there as soon as possible then. I'll have her with the tourmaline ring. And I don't think I can do anything else. So let's see what else I can equip on the other guys. Accessories 2, Martyr, Gambit Slots, a lot of Gambit Slots. Uh, let's see. I think I'll just have him keep on going this way. I don't know where I want to keep... I don't know where I want to go with this uh, little equipment path. What's this? Inquisitor. And, ooh, that would give me access to uh, his mist ability. Magic lore, magic lore, fires of war, ribbons, swiftness. I'll just keep him going down this way. And 15... Yeah, another gambit slot. Alright, and now Vaughn. Yeah, if it helps me get to these a little bit faster, I'll do it. Ooh, I may go on ahead and try to get down to uh, Red Spiral then. If only so I can gain access to ninja swords a little bit faster. Alright, do I have anything that requires 15? No, I don't. Alright. It's about all the that I'm getting out of that then. Alright, once I get to a certain point, I will be stopping for the night. Where I'm thinking of is a little further ahead, though. Oh, joy, guards. I could either go the path where I avoid them entirely, or I can just take them all out and just get to the next area. Turnkeys and cut purses down here. I've had my fill of chains. Let's tread lightly, shall we? Oh, that's what you think I'm going to be doing. Oop. Not gonna work. Hey, at least I get some money after I beat him, no matter what. Alright, let me get 
leap we're going. There we go. Alright, nothing over here. Yeah, conceal. Let me try again. Yeah, I got a potion. At least kill. At least no matter which uh, soldier type I kill, it adds to my chain. So, may go on ahead and just try to kill them all. Oh, nice! And I got a potion. Cool. Tread lightly, shall we? And then we get into so many fights. Oh, nice. Hey, my chain increased. My chain increased a grade, so I'm gonna be getting some better stuff. Nice. Ooh, a dark moat. Another potion. Is that all of them? Nope, there's some over here. Nice. The other two leveled up. That's good. Aw, oh, you parried. Oh, nice. I got a heal from that. Yeah, that's right. Uh, the further you go up into the chain grade, the uh, that's when they start uh, dropping things that'll uh, instantly heal you or restore some MP. All right, I don't think there's any other item boxes in here. Although, you can never be too sure. Imperial Pilot? What the hell is he doing now? Wow, that's a lot of gill. Just a flat amount of gill. Alright, he didn't have anything to steal. Oh wow, I'm down to that many? Ugh. There's an item box. An arrow moat. A moat containing the power of arrow. Cool. Alright. Into the next section I go. I'm going to say some words and this door shall open, says me! Alright, we have the way open. we go. Is there another section to do, or do we get right to the good part? Yep, we're right to the good part. You have grown very thin, Bosch. Huh. It's Bosch. They said he was executed. Less than a, jail, less than a man. Sentenced to death, and yet you live? Why? To silence Hondor. How many times must I say it? Is that all? Why not ask Vane himself? Is he not one of your masters? 
We've caught a leader of the insurgents. She's being brought from Rabanasta, the woman Amalia. Huh? Who could that be? <sighs> Such a faithful hound to cling so to a fallen kingdom. Better than throwing it away. Throwing it away, as you threw away our homeland. Who's there? This the place. The mist is flowing through this room. It must be going somewhere. Hmm. You, you're no Imperials. Please, you must get me out. It's against my policy to speak with the dead, especially when they happen to be Kingslayers. I did not kill him. Is that so? Huh. Glad to hear it. Please, get me out, for the sake of Dalmasca. And I've got to stop you there. Dalmasca? What do you care about Dalmasca? Everything that's happened is because of you! Everyone that's died, every single one, even my brother. You killed my brother! Quiet. The guards will hear. I'm dropping it. Pirates without a sky. Down we go! So, yeah, they kind of lied about, uh, Bosch getting sentenced to death. He, he might as well have died, though, because of where he was. Spare us your quiddities. Yeah, but, but he's a... A traitor, I know. Stay here and fight if you want. If you can walk, let's go. You're taking him with us? We could use another sword arm. And you have it. Bosch joins the party as a guest. Well, we're now in the Barheim Passage. We're no longer the Nalbana Fortress. Alright, he's level 10. And let me see what he's got on him in terms of abilities. No techniques. He's just unarmed, but yeah. He's kind of looking a little thin, isn't he? That's what two years in a dungeon will do to you. All right. Should be a save point up ahead. I'm going to... I'm going to check the shop, and then I'll save, and then call it a stream there. Huh, guess it's not working. Let's have a look. Hmm, the fuse is blown. That would explain why there's no power reaching the switch. If the wiring is any indication, I'd say this is a central power relay of some sort. As it stands, I doubt we'll find much still running down here. All right, so I guess we find a fuse. And I think this guy has what we're looking for. And yeah, that doesn't work. All right, any item boxes down here? Uh, it doesn't look like it. All right, let's talk to this guy. Took him many visitors down here. You come scavenging for odds and ends, have you? Oh, the way out? It's just back up the stairs. Smithereens, you say? Then there's nothing left but to find some other way out through these tunnels. You'll need to get the power working again for that gate will budge, though. Fuse in that contraption upstairs is blown, but this ought to fix it up. Hey, we got a tube fuse! That tube fuse from part... Made that tube fuse from parts I found down in these very tunnels. It's good as any you'll find, and better than most, mark my words. Alright. Let's go on ahead and sell the stuff that we, uh, ooh. I may go on ahead and keep this, just in case. Oh, I don't want to do that. Ooh, those fish scales are worth a lot. Couple 
Couple demon eyeballs. Hey, new bizarre goods. Eye drop set, cool. I forgot to see what else he has. Ah. Oh! A, uh, knife upgrade? Yes! Silver bow? Oh, it looks like it's not gonna let me equip bows and guns? So okay. Ah, and some armor. Yeah, this is the good stuff. If I could equip any of it. Immune to blind, and equip Libra. Oh, cool. Gonna go on ahead and get the rest of this stuff. And, ooh, new gambits. Just for completionist's sake, I'm gonna get all of these. Oh, here we go. I might be able to find, uh these in the Gambit shop back in Rabinaster, though. So I'm only gonna get, uh, ones that seem to be essential. And I'll just save the rest for when I get there. Alright, can't open up that item box, so... Yeah, uh... I'll install the two fuse in the next stream. In the meantime, I'm gonna save. And that is gonna do it for the stream. So this is gonna be on YouTube. I'm hoping to get it up uh, tomorrow, uh, which would be Friday. And if not, it'll be up on Saturday. And my next stream is gonna be on Tuesday because I've gotta work three 12 hour shifts in the row the next three days. And I don't really like streaming on Monday. So Tuesday is gonna be the uh, best time for me to stream next. So yeah. YouTube, thank you for watching, and take care of yourselves. You deserve it.